I feel like my face is way too shiny for this video. Sorry guys, I wasn't really prepared to be doing this video right this second because I thought I had to go to work an hour earlier than I actually did have to be there. So this is the makeup I was going to wear to work and it's clearly not camera ready because it's way too shiny but I just checked my phone and realized I had a whole extra hour because I was going in at 2.30 and I thought I was going in at 1.30. So, and I literally live... Not even exaggerating, it takes me about 6 minutes to get to work, so I got time. So I'm down in my basement again, so it kind of seems like this is going to be my new spot for filming my videos, at least for right now, just because um, it's kind of hard filming in my room because I have a split level house, so my bedroom's upstairs, which is the same level as the living room and the kitchen and everything, so when other people are home, you're going to be hearing all the commotion in my videos, so I just come downstairs because it's like another living room down here, so I just use there. It's not like my old house where my bedroom was upstairs with all the other bedrooms and that's it. So you won't hear what's going on downstairs. So it's just a little bit easier for me to film down here. I just don't like, uh, you know, my pathetic sheet background. But I'll make it work or get something that'll make it work. Anyways, let's just get into this video. Hey everyone, it's Kelsey here and today I am doing my Invisalign update for you guys, which is long overdue, but you guys don't know it's overdue because I never even posted my first video and that's because this is exactly why I didn't want to post it. Because I didn't know when I was going to have update worthy information to share with you guys and I didn't want there to be a long gap in between my update because then you guys are just, just going to be waiting and waiting and you're going to sound like you're waiting on nothing. So, um... In my last video, that was in August, I think, when I first started Invisalign, and it is now October, today's November 5th? 6th, today's November 6th. So I'm probably going to post my old video today, and then when I get home from work, um, tonight I'll edit it and then have this video up maybe, I don't know when to be exact, maybe tomorrow, but I doubt it, to be honest, because I have a pretty busy week ahead of me, so if I don't edit it tonight, I don't know when I'm going to get around to it. But anyways, for this video, I didn't make any new notes. I just have my old notes with me here. I'm going to let you guys know what changed, what didn't change, um, and whatever I feel like updating you guys on. I hope I don't leave out anything because I didn't make new notes, but we'll see. So, since my last appointment, I've had two more appointments, and I thought I was going to do this video after my first appointment after my last video. So my second appointment, if that makes any sense. But um, I told you guys I was going to be getting attachments and elastics and in my first appointment following that video I just got the attachments and then I got the elastics in my most recent appointment. So that's why I didn't make my update after my first appointment because I didn't want to do like, oh I got, a, um, here's my update, I got attachments, here's another update, I got elastics. I just figured I'll wait till I got both attachments on my teeth so I can show you guys. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys what the elastics look like on my teeth because the hooks that keep them on broke off, but I didn't want to wait till my next appointment because that's all the way in December. So I figured I'll just do the update anyway and then give you guys another video sometime later on. So first of all, if you guys are wondering, the attachments are like little tooth colored buttons that they put on your teeth. I don't know exactly how they do it because I couldn't see, but I know they had me bite down on something and then like really, really hard and they cured whatever they put on my teeth with a blue light. So I don't know exactly what that was or what it's made of, but you really can't see it. And I'll show you guys in a second. I do have the aligners on right now, but I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like. Or I'll just show you guys right now. So I just took um the top aligners out, so... Please don't mind my crooked teeth. It looks so much worse when my aligners are off. But it might not show up because, like I said, they are tooth colored and they're really tiny. But, um, there's one over here. And, um, this tooth right here. I highly doubt you guys could see them because you could barely see them in person. But they're like little teeny, teeny, tiny buttons. And there's like little... Um, spots in the aligners that stick out because that's what they snap onto so it kind of makes it easier to stick onto your teeth um, when I first got them I hated them because it kind of created air bubbles because it wasn't fl like flush onto my teeth like my first two sets of aligners were because now they have these spaces for the buttons and it kind of I don't know I felt like it was so obvious but then I realized that it wasn't as bad as I thought but to me it just made it really obvious and it makes your teeth feel really bunk bulky. Like, the ones on my top aren't so bad, but the ones on the bottom, I feel like I feel them all the time because they're just, like, pressing up against my lip. But, you don't really see them, but 
I don't know, I just feel like it made it so obvious, so I was kind of upset when I saw them when they were done, because all my teeth look giant and huge and bulgy, but, I mean, it's part of the process, so, so be it. I knew I was going to get them from the start, but I just thought they were going to be in the back, because when they showed me, like, on the model, you know, those model teeth that dentists have, I only saw them on the back, the few back teeth, so I didn't think it was going to be in my smile line, but they are. It's really like just not my two front teeth, but it's on the ones right next to them. So that that kind of bothered me, but I realized it's not as obvious as I thought it was. It's just at first, it just took some getting used to. So I just put the aligners back in. Can you see them more now? I'll show you guys again. Oop. Uh, this tooth right here. And where is it? I don't even know. I can't feel it anymore. Oh, my teeth are horrible. I hate my teeth still. But yeah, you really can't see them, so I think I was just kind of overreacting a little bit when I saw them. It's because I knew they were there, so I was looking for them, and I was just like, this is really, really obvious. I was so insecure all over again, but it's not as bad. When I first got those attachments on, the first thing I noticed was taking my braces off was literally impossible. Because I was taught to take them off by like pulling down around, like starting from the back and pull them down from the outside. And that night when I got home and I wanted to eat, I was starving and I could not get them off and I was frustrated because I was really struggling. And I was like showing my whole family, like I was like, these braces aren't coming off. Like I really couldn't get them off. And then I realized that if I pull from the inside, so like underneath my teeth, they came off easily. Like they snapped right off. So, and then on the bottom ones, I actually, my tongue was actually better at getting them out than my fingers were. Like I'll pull them off from the sides and then I would lift it up the front with my tongue and they came right off. So when I went back to my last appointment, I told him that, you know, I found out that it was easier to do it that way. He was like, well, yeah, everybody has their own way of doing it. So um, I guess that's the better way to do it when you get your attachments on. So that's the only thing that changed when I had that appointment and that was back in um, September. And then my most recent appointment was in the beginning or the middle of October. I think not even like not even two weeks ago because I haven't changed these yet so almost two weeks ago I had my last appointment and that's where I got the elastics so like I said the hooks that hold them on broke off but I can show you what it looks like because I have one left and it's right here see it just a little tiny metal hook and I had one on the other side and then I had two down here and the rubber bands, you know, like you've seen people with braces who have the rubber bands on. The rubber bands will go over the hooks and just like restrict my jaw from opening completely. And it was to help, it's to help pull my teeth down. No, pull them apart, he said. Because it was supposed to make space for my teeth to come in and all fit together. But the one up here broke off not even an hour after I left the dentist. I was still on my way home. I was on the train and it just came off in my mouth. And I didn't want to take it out in front of those people, so I just kept it in my mouth until I got off the train. I just discreetly took it off and put it in my case for the aligners. And then later that night when I was driving home from dance practice, the one down here broke off. But that one he expected to come off because I have a crown there, and he said they usually don't stick well on, on crowns. But that broke off. And then just last night, the one down here broke off. So... Since the first day, I couldn't even wear, I didn't get to wear my elastics for a whole 24 hours because I didn't have these two, so there was nothing for either of them to hook onto. And then some way, somehow, the one down here just came off yesterday while I was eating cherries. So, I couldn't wear my elastics. And I did text my orthodontist and let him know, but he hasn't answered me. And I'm hoping that it's not that serious because I honestly don't want to make a whole trip just for that. Because like I mentioned in my last video, I do travel for this orth orthodontist because I couldn't find anyone near me who doesn't visit line, surprisingly. So I don't want to make a whole trip just for that unless I can get that trip, um, get that appointment instead of my upcoming one. Because obviously I, don't, I want to limit my appointments if I can because I do travel pretty far to get there. But he hasn't answered, so, and he usually does, so I'm hoping it's not serious, but I will call him this week and let him know, like, I haven't been wearing my elastics, I hope it's not that serious, it is something that can wait until my next appointment, because I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make a trip just for that, I really don't. So, that's basically the only things I really have to update you guys on that's new, but like I said, I'm going to go back in my notes and let you guys know what changed. Okay, so, I remember, I wrote here that I'm not supposed to brush them. Because I was told not to brush these braces and to use denture cleaner, but I realized since my first set, like, these things are always getting cloudy and it really, really annoys me. And I used to use a denture cleaner when I first got them, but right, right after I ran out of, of the supply that my um, 
orthodontist originally gave me, I never bought more because I just started brushing them and I was told not to, but I honestly don't know what the problem is, is what the problem is if I do. Sorry, I still have a little bit of a lisp. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know why it matters because I remember I was just so frustrated with how dirty they were looking and I kept soaking them in the denture cleaner, but I couldn't leave them in there too long because I have to wear them for so long. So I felt like they still looked really cloudy. I would try wiping them out with a napkin and I was like, this is gross. Like, I feel like there's something in these things. I don't understand why because I brush my teeth every single time I eat before I put them back on. I, I've been pretty good with that because it just feels really weird not to brush my teeth and then put these on over my food covered teeth. So one day I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to brush it. And I brush it and they look as clear as when I first got them. So that grossed me out even more because that meant like, I thought they were just turning color, but that actually meant that there was something on the braces. And I don't know why because there was no food on them. So was it just like stuff in my mouth that just gets on them? And that just really disgusts me to think about that. Um, unless it's like I don't brush my teeth good enough. But I mean, I brush my teeth like six times a day. So obviously my teeth are clean. So I don't understand why they change color. But... Using toothpaste is just fine. And I remember when I went for my second visit, um, the patient next to me was getting his Invisalign for the first time, and his orthodontist was telling him that he can brush them as long as he doesn't use toothpaste. So I was like, okay, so the brushing isn't the problem, it's the toothpaste. And I was just saying that in my head, because I don't want my orthodontist to know I was doing that. But even still, I still continue to use toothpaste. So I never bought um, more denture cleaner, because it just doesn't do anything to me. It just seemed gross. So... I just literally brush my teeth and then I brush the braces. I don't brush the braces throughout the day. And sorry I keep calling them braces. I know they're called aligners, but I just say braces for some reason. But I don't brush them every single time I brush my teeth. I just brush them when I first wake up and then before I go to sleep. So like how you would normally brush your teeth in the morning and in the night. But um, throughout the day I would just rinse them off really well and then um, eat and whatever and then brush my teeth and put them back on but it's just like a whole new feeling when you brush them it just feels so clean and I just feel so much better so that's a rule that I broke and I don't regret breaking it and I haven't seen anything happen to the braces like they're not deteriorating or anything so I really don't know why we're not allowed to brush them but I'm gonna do it <laughs> another thing that I realized was when I changed the aligners they're not as painful as it used to be when I first got them, the first two days would actually hurt, and then the next two days I would just be feeling a lot of pressure, and then for the remainder of the two weeks, it was like nothing was there. I mean, you always constantly feel them. Like, I tell people whenever they ask me if I still feel them, I'm like, yeah, you're gonna keep feeling them no matter what, because whenever you speak, you're gonna notice they're there. But I don't feel the pressure after the first four days, but I remember when I put my second set on, it was so painful that I had a headache and I had to take painkillers for it. And I hate taking painkillers for stuff like that because it's not like a sick pain. It's just like regular pain. So I don't I don't like over medicating myself, even though it's not that bad. But to me, I'm, I'm not used to taking a lot of medication. So I try to avoid using painkillers, but it was that painful. So if I'm using a painkiller, it's a lot of pain because I normally avoid using that stuff. But it was literally giving me a headache because it was just so much pressure and... It was horrible. But I've noticed, like, as time goes on, every time I change them, the pressure and pain isn't as serious. And I feel like with this set, it didn't hurt at all. I just felt the tightness, but there was no more pain. So I feel like my mouth has either gotten used to constantly being shifted around, or maybe it just hasn't worked on the part of my mouth that hurts. Because every set of aligners, you can feel that they're working on different teeth. You're not, they're not working on every single tooth all the time. So the, I remember the most painful one was that second set and I was working on my front teeth and that hurt so much. And then I remember one set I felt the pressure down here and that was really painful. But I've, it's just that recently I haven't really felt pain, just a lot of pressure. So I'm really grateful for that and I hope it stays that way because that was really unbearable. And I was like, how am I going to go through this every other week for 18 months? So luckily that died down a little bit. Another thing that I used to hate about these was they were sharp. Remember I mentioned that the backs of these were very sharp and I had to actually file them. Um, my last set, I don't think I filed them. This set, I know for a fact I never filed them and I haven't felt the sharpness at all. I'm talking fine. Like, I don't feel my tongue hitting up against it. My jaws aren't getting scratched. I don't feel that pain anymore. So, that's another thing that I don't know if I got used to it or if, I really, if they're really just not sharp anymore. Maybe they're making them duller. I hope they are because that was very, very uncomfortable, but... That's another thing that went away, so that's another good thing. Um, 
back to talking about the pain because I was just reading my notes. But um, when I do take my braces out when I first get them, it does hurt to eat still. Like that's, I don't think that's going to change because, you know, your teeth were just in one position and now you're releasing this pressure so they're like moving backwards and then they feel like they're shaking whenever I try and eat something. So that really hasn't changed so far, but I don't mind that because once I put the braces back on, it feels fine. Like they just need to be held steady basically because they're so new to where they're going. So that's really everything I'm um, going over my old notes. That's really everything that I have to talk about that's changed. I guess the only main difference is I don't go to the dentist every month like I thought I would. But now I'm going every six weeks because now he's giving me three aligners at a time. So now I get three. <laughs> right now I'm up to... What am, oh, right now I'm wearing my sixth set. I thought it was on my fifth still. So I have my sixth set in right now and then I have seven and eight right here. And then I go back on December 6th. Um trying to think of what else I would want to tell you guys I'm going to regret forgetting to tell you guys. Oh, one thing I remember, for any of you who like wearing liquid, oh my camera's going to die, I need to hurry this up. But if you guys like wearing liquid lipsticks like I do, you're going to hate it when you get braces. Because one thing about wearing lipstick, when you get it on your teeth, you can just lick it off and you'll be fine. When they get on these things, they don't get come off. Like the last video I made, or the second to last video I made, I had lipstick on and I got on my teeth and I didn't realize it. I had to do my whole video over because all it does is spread, but you try and wipe it, it doesn't come off. I have to literally go and brush them with toothpaste and it still leaves a stain. So they get stained very easily. So now I only wear lip glosses and it's very sad because I love liquid lipsticks. I love them. It's my favorite thing to wear on my lips, but it, it just, the staining is ridiculous. And you always see it, so... This is just how it's going to have to be for, for a long time. And I try and use like the quick dry matte ones and like try and just hold my lips out, you know, like this until it dries so it doesn't get on my teeth. But it never fails. It never fails. It keeps getting on them. So I've completely given up. It's sad, but I gave up. Besides that, I don't think there's really anything more I want to update you guys on. Like nothing more that I could think of. If there is something else that comes up, I'll wait till my next video. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to be. When I first got Invisalign, I had planned on doing updates every month because I was going to be getting appointments every month. But now that I think about it, there's really nothing for me to tell you guys every single month. Like, all there is that you could do, like, I could show you guys is how my teeth are changing, but you're not going to notice it. Like I said, I have my six set on right now, and you really can't see much of a visible change. A lot of people have said my teeth look like they're getting straighter, but honestly, it's the braces that just give that illusion because having them on closes the gaps in my teeth so they look straighter, but I know for a fact they haven't gotten any better yet. Nothing noticeable because when I take them off, they still look crooked. So it's just an illusion. But that's what I like about them. They automatically look straighter and wider, so that's a plus. But there's no visible change, so I don't know when my next update's going to be. Maybe in February because I'll be a third of the way there or maybe I'll do it when I'm halfway through my whole process because I know that appointment is very important because that's when you decide if your braces are working for you or if they're not which happens a lot unfortunately but maybe I'll do it then but I don't really think I really have much more to share with you guys for now so I don't know what my next update's gonna be but I hope these were very helpful to you guys um if any of you guys were interested in starting Invisalign or if you have any questions just let me know and if I get a lot of questions, I will do a Q&A video about Invisalign, but for right now, I think this is all I really have to share with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this interesting and informative, and um, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on anything major that happens with this process. But for now, I'll just talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!